Hey everyone, I'm Jay. Today we're watching the fourth episode of Yagate Kimi ni Naru. Ah, oh, last episode it was pretty damn adorable. I think my favorite part was when uh, you and Toko went to the bookstore, only to Toko's surprise that it was owned by Yuna's family. And she had the best line ever, like how she was super nervous. She said, like, oh, but it's like, I'm sorry for seducing your daughter. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that that's a great line. But, uh, let's see, yeah, you made her speech, uh, Toko wins again, and everything's going smoothly now, so, yeah, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's just boldly announcing that during her speech. <laughs> yeah, and Toku got her, what was that, a stargazer thing to look at the stars? It's really nice. I just get what the exact term for those things are. But, oh well. Close enough. That thing. Yeah, it was nice how Toko revealed her uh, vulnerable side to you. Perfect everyone else. Nice to keep that uh facade up. <laughs> no, not yet. I'm not done writing it down. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Aha! Uh -huh. Nothing much, you say. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, she's adorable. Aww.
Hmm. Kendo, sweet. <laughs> Saika looks a little irritated by him already. Yo! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so one real possibility there. That's shocking. Every school has a drama club, are you kidding me? Oh, come on, why not? Damn. Yeah, Toko really wants to do a play. Oh, dear lord, that's a lot. <laughs> Someone's looking a little overwhelmed. Yeah, that. <laughs> sense then. <laughs> okay. More support. <laughs> Cheese beat. <laughs> mm. 
No, you're not. Finally get some alone time. Sit. <laughs> of course I want to do more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my Now, this is a traditional series that someone would burst in the room right about now. Did someone just see? Oh, no. Hershey's? Oh, someone did see. Oh, oh. Oh, damn. Because when they go to the house from the perspective from outside the window, I'm like, oh, someone's looking in. I always think that this time there was. Oh, damn. Hmm. <laughs> uh, dig it for information. <laughs> oh, no. Like, uh huh, if you say so. <laughs> oh. 
Hockey! Love hockey. You can just find in front of the... 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 Blah, blah, blah. The speech. You should have just found the speech. Funny people. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, he knows it's up. <laughs> Does he happen to be a Yuri fan? <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. Oh, the weak spot. Wee bit. Hmm. Maki is damn good. He's a nice, polite guy, knows the right way to dig for information. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, he's good. <laughs> Gonna confront her already? Yo! <laughs> Uh, Toko, help, help. Get out with it. Oh, the look of fear in her eyes. Oh, my God.
Oh, okay. That's his interest. Got it. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is true. Simply an observer. That is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as cunning as Maki was, I was concerned that he was gonna blackmail her. But I didn't think he was a bad guy, and I'm Glad to see that he's not. Alright, he's coming up. That's good. Good, good. <laughs> wow, you can tell that too, huh? Oh, did it just dawn on her? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was an amazing episode. <sighs> yeah, I was very concerned there for a little tiny bit. Because I was like, he's a nice guy. But he's really good at fishing for information, really cunning, like, hmm, hmm, does this guy have ulterior motives here? He, he kind of does, but not of the bad variety. He just wants to observe. He likes his Yuri. Nice, very nice. Okay. Toko was just so adorable. Because <laughs> she's like the perfect uh, character slash student, which is around anyone with the exception of you. But as soon as she's alone with her, she just goes into uh, uh, flustered, flustered Toko version. <laughs> it's just, oh. So damn cute. Yeah, so hopefully... Uh, Mako doesn't betray him. If he does, I'll be seriously, seriously pissed if he does. Because, oh my god. But, um... Yeah. Well, that's first person to know. Um... Hmm... Hmm. Yeah, it was good. And yeah, he was right. He was able to read her, read you super friggin' well. I was like, you care more about her than you let on. <laughs> I think that was a revelation for uh, her as well. So, progress. There's so much progress in the series. That's one of, one of the things I love about it. So much. There's so much progress just through four episodes. Like, if this was, say, a traditional rom-com... There would be zero progress at this point. Literal zero. Like, there would maybe be an awkward look. That's what we get through four episodes. No, no, no. There's so much more going on here. 
and that kiss would have been disturbed because someone the Mako would have actually walked in and broken it up. But now this is just so much better. Oh, it's so good. So good. I locked. Yeah. Alright, I'm done now. Let me know what you thought. Bye-bye.